Welcome to our Medical Insights series. Today we're presenting a deep dive into the New England Journal of Medicine's recent publication, titled, Long-Term Outcomes of Resynchronization Defibrillation for Heart Failure, authored by John L. Sapp et al. Background. The RAF study previously showed a five-year mortality benefit for patients receiving cardiac resynchronization therapy, CRT, over those with implantable cardioverter defibrillators, ICDs. This new study extends these findings to examine the long-term effects of CRT on patient survival. Methods. This research involved patients with NYHA class 2 or 3 heart failure, specific ejection fraction and QRS duration criteria. Patients were randomly assigned to receive either an ICD alone or a CRT defibrillator, CRTD. The focus was on long-term outcomes including overall survival and a composite of death, heart transplantation or ventricular assist device implantation. Results. Of the 1798 patients enrolled, 1050 were included in this long-term analysis. Over a median follow-up of 7.7 .7 years, and up to 13.9 years for survivors, a notable difference in survival rates was observed. Those with CRTDs had a longer survival time and slightly lower composite event rates compared to the ICD group. Conclusions For patients with reduced ejection fraction, widened QRS complex and NYHA class 2 or the 3 heart failure, CRTDs demonstrated a sustained survival benefit over nearly 14 years compared to ICDs. This finding is crucial in guiding long-term treatment strategies for heart failure patients. This study marks a significant milestone in understanding and treating heart failure. It underscores the importance of personalized treatment plans and long-term patient care strategies. For more detailed insights, we encourage our viewers to read the full article in the New England Journal of Medicine. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more updates and insights from the forefront of medical research.